What is the main reason we can't cure HIV? Isn't the virus itself but a hidden trick it plays deep inside our system? Hey all, welcome to Thera Trek, where science meets hope. I'm your host Raj. Today we are breaking down one of the biggest mysteries in HIV research, the hidden reservoir. And my a gene called BACH2 may be the key to unlocking a cure. As you can see on the screen here, this is the source research paper that I have used. I'll put a link to it in the description. And let's get started. HIV attacks our immune system by infecting a type of white blood cell called the CD4 T cell. We have spoken about this at length in all our videos, so I'll keep it short. Antiretroviral therapy, or ART, does a great job at stopping HIV from multiplying. But here's the problem. HIV can hide inside a small group of CD4 T cells by going into a sleeping state. These hidden cells are called latent HIV reservoir. HIV also hides into other types of cells, including in the brain. And those are also the source of latent HIV reservoir. Because the virus is asleep, neither our medicines or our immune system can find it. But the moment ART stops, these sleeping cells wake up and the virus comes back roaring. That's why HIV is so difficult to cure and ART is needed for a lifetime. This reservoir is the single biggest barrier to a cure. It hides in places like your blood, lymph nodes, brain, and even genetic tract. HIV can sit there undetected for years. And the moment ART stops, the infection rebounds. That's the frustrating cycle researchers are trying to break. Most of these reservoir cells are memory CD4 T cells, which carry a receptor called CCR5. That's how HIV sneaks in. And we talk about CCR5 with regard to uh, HIV uh, type 1. But there's type 2 also, which is very limited in geography. Most of the therapies are targeting type 1. Here, here's where it gets interesting. These long-lived reservoir cells usually form right around the time ART begins. And a gene called BACH2 helps make this possible. Normally, when T cells reach the end of their life cycle, they stop dividing and die. But BACH2 can flip that switch, pushing some HIV-infected cells into a long-lasting memory state instead. In other words, BACH2 gives the virus a safe house to hide for years. BSCH2 is a gene found on chromosome 6, and it plays a vital role in shaping our immune system. It helps T cells survive and become long-lasting memory cells. In the case of HIV, that's a double-edged sword. BSCH2 allows infected T cells to persist for years as reservoir. In most studies, when BSCH2 was knocked out, far fewer reservoir cells formed, and when treatment was stopped, the virus did not rebound. That's powerful evidence that BSCH2 is essential for reservoir survival. This is where things get a little complicated. Unlike CCR5, which sits on the surface of cells and can be blocked with drugs or antibodies, BACH2 is a transcription factor inside the cell's nucleus. That means you can't easily block it with antibodies. Gene editing could theoretically disable it, but BACH2 also has critical jobs in regulating the immune system. Blocking out permanently the BACH2 in humans could increase risk for autoimmune uh, diseases or weaken the immune regulation. So researchers will need safer, more precise ways like temporary inhibitors or fine-tuned gene regulation to target BACH2 without harming the immune system. And typically, this will have to happen on the onset of infection before ART is administered. The discovery of BACH2's role gives us a brand new target in the fight against HIV. If scientists can figure out how to block or modulate BACH2 safely during the critical window when ART begins, they might prevent the reservoir from forming in the first place. You can then conclude that it could mean fewer hidden viruses, less chance of rebound, and one step closer to a functional cure for HIV, right? Well, it's not that simple. Within the first two weeks of HIV infection, the microglia in the brain gets infected. Reservoirs formed in the brain will not respond to BACH2 pathway as it does with T cell and B cells. Therefore, a separate strategy will be needed to tackle the HIV reservoir in the brain. As you can see, 
multiple approaches will need to be applied simultaneously to track this, to tackle this virus. And we are collecting successful approaches from various research groups. It has taken a long time to reach here and the goal gets closer every day. I am convinced only a combination therapy can potentially provide a sterilizing cure one day. Friends, that's all for today. I'll catch up with you again in the next video. Take care and bye for now.